Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, I would like to share how to solve quadratic equation by using the completing the square method. Firstly, let's rewrite the equation. We have 9x squared minus 12x. Constant move to the right. Plus move forward becomes minus and we have 4. If the coefficient of x squared is not equal to 1, then factorize. So we have 9 times x squared minus 12 divided by 9x is equal to negative 4. Simplify this term if needed. So we have 9 times x squared minus 4 over 3x is equal to negative 4. Next, let's complete the square. Recall that when we expand the square, this term is always becomes double. So which means that when we reverse the process, this should be half of its original value. So we take 4 over 3 divided by 2, which is 2 over 3. And this is negative, remain negative. For the first term, we should have x. So we write it here, x. Besides, by comparing, as you can see, we have only two terms here. But when we expand, we should have three terms. So which means that this is extra. To remove the extra term, very simple. We just have to minus. So we minus the square of this term, including the negative sign. But because this is square, which means that plus minus is not really important. So we can simply ignore. And this is equal to the right hand side, negative 4. Now let's expand the left hand side. So we have 9 times x minus 2 over 3 square minus 9 times 2 square is equal to 4. 3 square is equal to 9. And this is equal to negative 4. Again, constant bring to the right. So we have 9 times x minus 2 over 3 square is equal to minus 4. Minus move over plus 9 cancel with 9. So we left only 4. So minus 4 plus 4 is equal to 0. Next, divide the entire equation by 9. 9 over 9 is equal to 1. So 1 times anything, we get back the same thing. So which means that we have x minus 2 over 3 square is equal to 0 divided by 9 is still 0. Now let's take the square root of both sides. When we take square root, square, square root can say each other, no more. So we left x minus 2 over 3 is equal to square root of 0. Remember to add plus minus. However, since this is 0, which means that regardless positive or negative, when we take square root, will still be 0. Lastly, we have constant here. Again, move to the right. Minus move over plus. So we have 0 plus 2 over 3, which is equal to 2 over 3. And hence, we can conclude that x is equal to 2 over 3 is the only solution for this equation. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.